Let's solve a question on pressure in fluids. Here we have a manometer, which is a device used to measure pressure. Consider an open tube manometer containing a certain fluid. The left end contains a gas at pressure P. We can see that over here. Whereas the right end is open to the atmosphere at atmospheric pressure P A. And we can see that we can see that over here. And we can see that the height of the fluid in the left column is less than that in the right column. The question is to figure out the relation between P and P A. As always, hit pause and try this one on your own first. All right, hopefully you have given this a shot. Now over here, we do need to consider pressure due to fluid, right? There is a fluid. So generally, generally we know, we know that pressure due to fluid, let's say, let's say we have this container and there is, there is a fluid up till height, up till height edge. So if we think about the pressure due to only this fluid at the lowest point, at the lowest point, at this point, that is, that is given by rho G H. Rho is the density of the fluid G into H, the height of the fluid. Now, if you look at these two heights, H1 and H2, we can say that the pressure due to the fluid at this point, this would be rho G H1, only due to the fluid, due to, due to this fluid right here. And the pressure due to this fluid, to this much fluid, this would be, this would be at this point, the pressure would be rho G H2. But the total pressure at this point, that would be, that would be P plus rho G H1, because there is already a pressure of gas P at this end. So if you think about the total pressure, that is pressure due to the gas plus the pressure due to, due to the fluid of height H1. And the total pressure due to the fluid of height H2 plus the atmospheric pressure, that is PA, PA plus rho G H1. And this fluid is at rest, which means that these two points, these two points, this point right here and this point right here, they must be at the same pressure, right? Because if they weren't, if they aren't at the same pressure, then let's say, let's say if this, if this part was at a higher pressure than this, than this point, then the fluid would move, it would move in this direction. It would flow towards right. Or if the, if the right point, if this point was at a higher pressure, then this point, the fluid would move to the left. So the total pressure at these two points, that's equal. This, this, this is, this is equal. Now, when we try to work this out, we can, we can take P a to the left hand side. This becomes P minus P a. This is equal to rho G. And this should be, this should be two, right? Rho G H two, rho G H two minus H one. And we already know that H two is greater than H one, which means this, this number, this is a positive number. If P minus P A is a positive number, then that means that P, that means that P must be, P must be greater than P A. And we can also try to understand it by looking at the diagram. We see that the fluid is pushed more on the left hand side compared to the right hand side. It, you can see it's, it's below and the fluid over here is, the H2 is more, right? So if you say that the area of these two, if these two sides of the tube, if area is the same, then pressure, pressure is really force divided by area. So if the fluid on the left hand side, if it's experiencing more force, it should be pushed more down, which is how it is. So it must have a higher pressure on top of it compared to compared to the right hand side fluid, which is not experiencing that much force, which means the pressure on top of it must be less. And that's why P is greater than P A. You can try more questions from this exercise in the lesson. And if you're watching on YouTube, do check out the exercise link, which is added in the description.